hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. All right, you ready? Oh crap, you're already filming. Don't include that, please don't include that part. Hey y'all, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larissa and today we're talking about one of my favorite summer classics, hot dogs. Okay, so I eat them year round, that's besides the point. But that's right, we are moving right into summer recipes. I don't know about you, but I am tired of soups and casseroles and ready to move into all things summer. I am ready for grilled burgers and veggies and peach cobblers and ice cream all vegan of course. In case you guys don't know, a lot of our recipes are based around things that we loved before going vegan and trying to figure out how to veganize it. We know that if we liked it before going vegan, the fact is that probably a majority of you guys liked it before going vegan and so if we can help you along on your journey, then we are doing our job. So today we are talking about one of my favorites and hopefully yours too, hot dogs. We wanted to create a healthier version of a hot dog that was also gluten free and vegan that wasn't just a marinated carrot. I mean, carrots are good and all, there's even carrots in our recipe, but sometimes it's nice to have more than just a carrot on a hot dog bun. This recipe is easy to make, but it does need a bit of time to set up. However, you can cook it in an air fryer, in the oven, or on a grill. It is one of our favorites, one of our kids' favorites, and hopefully soon it will be one of your favorites too. So let's get right into the kitchen and show you how to make these. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is pour vegetable stock into a pot and then add lentils. Lentils is going to be the base of this dish. It's perfect because it has a meaty and hearty texture, which is perfect when creating a meat substitute like hot dogs. You wanna use green lentils here because red ones get too mushy. Bring to a boil, cover, and reduce to low, cooking according to the package, which is about 30 minutes. While that's cooking, we are going to do the rest of our steps. In order to keep this gluten-free, we are going to be using oat flour for this recipe. You could also use chickpea flour. See the post for instructions on swapping flours. If you don't have oat flour, you can just blend up rolled oats until a powder and a food processor. Once you have that, you need to roughly chop your vegetables. Quarter a red onion, peel your garlic, roughly chop some carrots and spinach. You want to roughly chop because the food processor will do the rest, but without roughly chopping, you will have chunks in your mixture and we don't want that. Okay, so the ingredient list gets long when adding the spices. We fully understand there's a lot, however, they are so good when mixed together and if you want the perfect taste, then you'll just trust us, okay? Okay. So we added flaxseed, Italian seasoning, cumin, celery salt, smoked paprika, marjoram, mustard powder, and nutmeg. Once you have all those, add in your roughly chopped vegetables. I always try to evenly distribute them in our food processor so it blends more equally. Next are liquids. I like to wait to add these until I'm about to add the cooked lentils so they don't soak into the spices or flour too much while waiting. We added vegan Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, tomato paste, liquid smoke, and freshly squeezed lemon juice. Once your lentils are done, you are going to be adding those directly into the food processor as well. Take your lid off and give them a good stir. Make sure that all the liquid has evaporated during the cooking process. Excess liquid in the recipe will cause the hot dogs to be more temperamental to work with. Once you have all your ingredients in, blend until evenly combined. You're going to let your mixture sit for at least four hours or overnight. Okay, so your mixture after sitting for a while should clearly be less moist at the top. You allow the mixture to sit so the oat flour has time to absorb the liquid and make for a better cooking experience. Pull your mixture out of your food processor and shape it into a big ball. Then you are going to separate it into equal sizes. You should be able to easily get six hot dogs from this mixture. However, if you want them smaller, you could do eight. This doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get them as equal as possible. Now it's time to shape your hot dogs. We tried a hot dog mold and while they work, we found the mold to be much smaller than a normal hot dog. So yeah, not doing that. Then we tried shaping by hand and felt like unless our hands were super oiled, too much came off, but it did work. So our preferred method is to take a ball of your mixture, set it on a piece of wax paper, and then move the sides up and down using your hands to gently mold into a log or a hot dog shape. These are moldable and forgiving, so if it breaks or you roll it too long, just redo it. Roll it out until it's the length of your hot dog bun. I place these on a clean sheet of wax paper and then repeat the process with the rest of the mixture. We don't like to waste the wax paper, but it's better than the waste on our hands when trying to do it by hand. 
All right, now it's time to cook. We are using our air fryer to give a crispy browned outside with a soft texture inside. You wanna make sure your air fryer is non-stick and if it's not, then spray some cooking oil on it. Depending on the size of your air fryer, you may need to cook these in batches. We've also included oven instructions in our post linked in the description, or you could totally do this on the grill too with grill mats. They are going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, flipping halfway through, and then they are ready to go. Load them with your favorite toppings and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you join us for some delicious summer inspired recipes coming up during the next few weeks. Comment below with your favorite summer dishes or a favorite dish you'd like to see us recreate. We'd love if you could like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.